Hey folks, in this video, I wanna share with you a great update that finally has come to the Vimeo Premiere live streaming option. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. Just first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. So I really like Vimeo. Don't like the price. <laughs> Let me beat that known now. Um, but I do like what they offer um, because they allow you to do live streaming, not just one, but you can have three independent live streams going on at the same time. And they also have built in simulcasting. What's simulcasting? Simulcasting is similar to Restream, Caster, to where you stream to this one service and then they restream or simulcast to multiple destinations and it comes a part of the license i'm glad it does because it does cost a little bit but hey i like the fact that for a long time when you would connect to different platforms for whatever reason um it would carry over and stream to the exact same locations. You couldn't say, hey, for my church live stream, I want to simulcast to our Facebook page. But if I'm live streaming a high school game, I want that to simulcast to our YouTube page. For whatever reason, um, originally for about two years, if you pointed the church service <laughs> to Facebook and then you go to a completely different event and try to live stream at the same time, it would kick off or try to stream to your other platform. So we've had numerous times where a football game or a wrestling match or something like that, or a basketball game starts showing up on our church church's page, which is really frustrating. So what we had to do is we would go into, if somebody's getting ready to live stream an event, make sure you go into the website, which is not always good if you're in a remote location, um, and go in, turn off the destinations, and then turn on the one that you want, then live stream. Um, and it, it's caused numerous issues, but thankfully they finally have fixed that and they have independent destinations. So instead of me just running my mouth, let's go ahead and cut over to the computer and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so here is the update on the Vimeo blog that pretty much just says, um, you can simulcast to concurrent events to different destinations. This was the main issue. If you had a church service and a gaming session going on where you're simulcasting to Twitch, but you're also trying to live stream to Facebook, it wouldn't do that um, at all. You would only have one choice, but thankfully they've added that. So now you can have just like you can have three independent live streams going on at the same time, those three can go to different destinations at the same time as well. Um, really straightforward, really helpful as well too. So if we cut over here, let's look at it. So normally, so like if I had formation sports here and we would go inside the event and we go to our destination, it used to be whatever I set would go no matter what, it would go to the same place. So if I set this to say, I wanted this to go to YouTube and I only have my channel linked on here right now, um, I would say yes. So if I started to stream and turn this on, it would stream here and stream to my YouTube page. Um, now, what would happen is if I went to a different event, that same setting would be saved. So say I have, hey, a our church live stream if I go to our destination, as you see, it's something completely different. It used to always carry the exact same thing. Um, and this is really simple. Um, I just don't know uh, if anybody's really aware of it. I got an update Saturday talking about this, um, but it went into place effective Monday this week. So that's really cool. So now if I come out of here, so you see our live stream, church live stream is going to Facebook. But if I go back to Formation Sports, Destination, 
see it doesn't does not have the Facebook destination as well too which saves so much time so let me actually turn this off because I don't want it to go here I actually want it to go to our formation sports Facebook page so now each event is actually going to be saved and we don't have to worry about them stepping on top of each other or the added step of making sure hey you're streaming to the right place so there you go our our church service is going to the church Facebook page but if I go here to um, formation sports it's only going to that one and it's not going to go to other events or like if I go to my Q&A with AJ this was actually a Q&A test um, see it still thankfully it actually still has my original pages still locked in place which is awesome so I can go to all these destinations at the same time but they don't step on top of each other or like this would be the other one I would have a private funeral page and we wouldn't want this to go anywhere and it stays private and it stays private it doesn't automatically just trip over the extra destinations if we just had a church service on Sunday so that's really it um, not super massive world changing type of events but if anybody is using any services like Vimeo and they've had this issue thankfully this update has been put in place and makes it a whole lot easier and I'm actually going to be using this to stream um, a Ash Wednesday service for some couple of churches from my hometown from Richmond. So I'm going to be setting this up and actually let's go ahead and do that. Might as well get you back over here to do that. So what I'm going to do is come back to my events and I'm going to make a new event. And actually this isn't just um, Ash Wednesday. I'm actually going to be doing this throughout the whole week. So I would just say, uh, um, Ash Wednesday service. Um, I'll do this as um, a one time for right now. All right, we go to next. I would add, well, need to turn that off because this is not formation sports. And we just make it generic. We want them to have the play button, volume, and full screen. Cool. That's all we really need. Um, and now we'll go to our destinations. And as you see, nothing is on here. What I'm going to end up doing is adding their private Facebook um, stream here. They're going to get me the information. But um, that would go here. That would point to their Facebook group. And I would turn this on. That's going to be here for our option. And let's just verify that nothing got changed. We're going to come here to formation sports destinations. See, nothing has changed. I need to add our, the YouTube page for them on here, but nothing has changed from what I said. Let's go back to our church. That's good. And then another platform, um, YouTube training that me and another YouTuber that I went to high school with Chris is going to be on here and that's going to my Facebook page. So we're all good. So everything is working really simple. It's just something as simple as, Hey, maybe I don't know what needs to happen. Maybe they need to have some more servers to be able to handle this. I don't know, but I'm thankful that now that's an extra step that I don't have to do. So now at church, when I have it set up, I have the destinations, I don't have to log in and make sure up. Oh, let me turn this off. Make sure I'm streaming to the right place. Cause once it's set, it's set. Um, I mean, always check it, but you don't have to add it as a task to make sure it doesn't mess up anything. But anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, especially if I brought it to your attention, if you have Vimeo and you didn't know, but Hey, now, you know, and it should make your whole live streaming event as well as concurrent ones a lot easier and smoother to where now you have the ability to not just stream to up to three different locations at the exact same time. They can also go to multiple um, simulcast locations that are independent of each other. So very good update. Thank you, Vimeo. Really appreciate that. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ and we will see you on the next video later.